Dredge decks have seen better days. The Faithless Looting ban gave them a big old start in the face. Ever since the ban, Dredge have been trying to replace Faithless Looting. Some have tried Neonate. Others have tried Merchant of the Veil. But what shocks Daddy the most is that no one has tried Gemstone Caverns. But why might Gemstone Caverns be so broken in Dredge? Well, if it's in our opening hand and we're on the draw, we can exile a card from hand and put Gemstone Caverns into play. It can then produce any color of mana, but more importantly, we can tap it on our opponent's turn before they've done anything. And that matters very much because Merchant of the Veil's ability is instant speed. For one mana, we discard a card and draw a card. If we discard a dredge card like Stinky Dim, we can get five cards in graveyard before our turn's even started. And that is very good because on our first turn, if we have another dredge card in graveyard, we can then dredge again. And with Gemstone Caverns, that also means we can turn one Cathartic Reunion. We discard two cards, we dredge up to three times, it's pretty good. And now it is time to unveil Daddy's masterpiece. Boom! <laughs> we got the Gemstone Caverns. The Merchant, also fiery, is lit. The only draw land that dredge decks are currently running is Forgotten Cave. That's cool and all, but fiery is lit, that's awesome pretty cool because instead of drawing a card we can just dredge but why do we have blue in the deck that is for tome scour which we can mill ourselves for five and also the instant speed dream twist it only mills for three but it also has flashback for two so maybe we're in a situation where jellyfish is the graveyard and before it enters play from graveyard we want to find a prized amalgam that is where we can flashback dream twist for some really good timing the rest of the deck is typical dredge with the first time appearance cards being dream twist fire is lit and especially gemstone caverns but now we got to talk about the sideboard we we have an extra two gemstone caverns in case we know we're on the draw. And when we know we're on the play, we can replace main deck caverns with two more forgotten caves. Other than that, we have the creature hate cards, lightning axe and dark blast. For graveyard hate, we have Leyline, And for artifact enchantment hate, we have ancient grudge and ray of revelation, which means we have no nature's claims. I know, right? Crazy. But luckily for us, people seem to think graveyard decks are gone from the metagame. And it appears that people have removed their graveyard hate from their sideboards. So we'll roll the dice and not dilute our dredge plan. That's the deck. Let's get to the gameplay. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already a big boy. Well, without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Oh my gosh, we're on the draw, so we're gonna go with the turn one cathartic. Hooray for lesbians. No, no discard, no. Oh, good. The dredge mirror shall be interesting. And now it's time for cathartic. Dredge three, dredge four, and dredge three again. Hooray. Two blood gas and amalgam, yay. Let's see if they can match that. Ooh. Oh, shoot, they got a stink weed imp there. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, they got luckier than us. We didn't get a stink weed imp. They hit creeping chill. Crap, and they also have cathartic. Oh, not fair. Oh, they whiffed. Oh, that's pretty good. With a jellyfish. Hmm. This is gonna be a tough one. And blood gas stay in graveyard. Now back on our turn, dredge the thug. And now we have big decision here. Do we dream twist to try and get another amalgam? Yeah, I'll we'll try it. Mill three. Oh, hooray. And now let's bring on the aggro, play a land, and get back the blood gas back to our opponent. They mill for two more. Oh, and they life from the loam. Getting back their blood gas. And oh, they're being aggressive. Interesting. Interesting. Our main advantage that we have can flog a law. And we could spread the damage across their creatures. I don't want their blood gas getting haste, so let's trade with one of the jellyfish and take four. And now we have big boy decision here. We can hit them for six. They only have one dredge card in graveyard, and it's not a great one. Mm, okay, we'll dredge the sinkweed. Chill, nice. And now we'll go on the offensive, swing with everything. They take all of it down to six. Wow. Are they baiting us? Because, like, they see they can flog a law, and we can deal six. What? Do they have nature's claim in hand? What? Because, like, they could have nature's claim to hit their own street corn gain for life but i i've never heard of that main deck and nah. all right we might be walking into something but i think the best play here can flog a lot for six dumping our hand come on is that it oh my god you gotta be kidding me no no what are they doing they draw don't scare me like this Oh, we got it. We were on the draw and we got it. That's pretty good. Going into game two, we're gonna dump all this for all this. And with that, let's go to game two. Oh boy, this is a hard one. No ley line. But we do have a gemstone. Ooh. I don't know if this is worth the risk. Because if they have a ley line, it's basically over. <sighs> we'll, we'll risk it, I guess. Oh, boy. Playing the caverns. Exiling the jellyfish. Oh. Whoa. No ley line. They play that on tap. Strange. They have. They can't have surgical. No one ever runs surgical. Okay. Instant speed. Let's dream twist. Golgari thug. Nice. Oh, they ain't ready for this. Oh, dredge. Well, gas and graveyard. Do we dream twist? No. Tome scour. Tome scour. Getting kind of nervous here. Okay. <laughs> yes. Our opponent's probably so frustrated. Oh, my gosh. Now, here comes our real first land. Enchantment hitting graveyard. Yeah, we'll send it back to them. Up on a haggles. Ooh, and they had a stink we didn't too. Shoot. That's a pretty good first play. If they have a cathartic here. Oh no. Lesbians, why have you betrayed us? Oh man. They have a jellyfish, blood gas, and two amalgams. That ain't good. And we have no dredge in graveyard currently. We're gonna have to really risk it here. Dream twist. And nice. Two stink we didn't. Dredge the imp. Another jellyfish and a blood gas. This is gonna be such a close one. And they have Conflogala. And then play a land. Get back the other blood gas. They dredge another creep 
Creeping Chill, and another Amalgam. But so far, no sideboard cards. And oh, more lesbians. I'm just kidding. I love lesbians. They make great videos. I'm not sure we're going to win this one. I think they got us. But on the bright side, there's no sideboard cards in Graveyard. Walk there. And now Dredge the Imp. Nothing. All right, swing like this. Play the Thug in best case scenario here. We find out if they have any sideboard cards against us. Dredge, come on. Yeah, still nothing. Am I missing something? Like, there's nothing here. 13 cards left in deck, six in hand. I mean, graveyard decks aren't that common, but no graveyard hate whatsoever. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right, that changes things. Go one in the game three. I'm tempted to bring in Knots of the Bones, but I don't want to win dirtily. Dirtily? That's not a word, is it? No. I want it to be fair. I feel like bringing this in is a little too unfair. So I'll keep it simple. Dump this stuff, and we'll be on the play. Opening hand, no ley lines, no discards, so we're going to mull. And yeah, not a great start besides the ley line, but we can't pass it up. We'll have to keep this. And now the ley line. But now let's see if they have an answer. Oh no, I feel so bad. I just want it to be fair, but it's not fair. They just conceded. They really didn't have any enchantment. Oh man. Oh, I wanted this one to be epic. It was such a good match. But I guess we won. So hooray. And what a great time to mention that daddy has made more of his hand painted deck boxes. If you want one, they're available at decknut.com. But now back to the gameplay. Opening hand. Everything about this hand is terrible. So we're going to mole. And yes, yes, this is much better. Both the Tome Scour and the Merchant turn one are very good moves. So yeah, we're keeping. I suppose we'll start with the Tome Scour. Mill for five. Creeping chill and life from the loam, sure. And then back to our opponent. Opponent passes back. We'll dredge the loam. And ooh, jellyfish. Before that resolves, I'm going to try and hit an amalgam here. Instant speed the merchant on the Golgari thug. Kind of a whiff, except we hit a second jellyfish. All right. Oh, I didn't see that. There's a stinkweed infant graveyard. Cool. All right. Play stomping grounds tapped and pass back. And wow, they're already at 13. The power of dredge. And oh, Ren six. Killing our jellyfish. But I think we'll be quite all right. Dredge of the stinkweed. And flog along blood gas. Hmm. We'll go life in the loam. Getting back three lands. We'll lay a land. Getting back blood gas and amalgam. And then we'll hit the Ren six for one. Back to our opponent. They return a land. But then they pass back. Life from the loam again. Meh, kind of bad. And now let's do mega sexy move. And vlog a law. Two on Ren and six. Three on our opponent. Discarding that. That puts them at exactly 10. Now when we play the land, we'll get back blood gas and swing in with everyone. Hooray for us. Oh, fatal push. But realizing they're no match for us, they concede. I mean, who can blame them? Go on in the game two. We're gonna dump all this for all this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, we do have conflog a law. But no, we can do better. Mole. And yeah, we can make this work. Pull an amalgam, man. And now we'll try and get away with this. Merchant on the stinkweed. Creeping chill, blood gas, and another stinkweed. Nice. Now it's back to our opponent. They better have graveyard hate. No, a Tarmogoyf. Hmm. Okay, big boy. Dredge the stinkweed. Oh, that is so nice. Two prize amalgam and two blood gas. Very, very nice. And now watch this. Land, trigger, and dream twist. Oh, another amalgam. Did you see that? The power of instant speed. And we have an extra blood gas in case our amalgams die. And we want to bring them back. Hooray. What we see here is nothing short of greatness. Because like, what, what can they do? Run and six. Killing one of the blood gas. Okay, big boy. We can play that game. Oh, and our opponent is not happy because after sitting there idly for five minutes, they concede. Kind of an anticlimactic end. You know, they really can't do much against us. Like their fatal pushes, their lightning bolts. We just keep getting our guys back. The only thing they could have would be scavenging ooze. And ever since Faithless Luton got banned, most Jun decks only run two scavenging oozes. So the odds of them drawing those two are not very high. Oh, well. But what's bad for them is good for us. Now it's on to the next match. Opening hand. This is kind of bad. One discard card, one dredge card. We really got to hit something with that. Yeah, fine. We'll fire the merchant on their upkeep just in case they have forced a negation. And come on, big dredge. Three. Oh my gosh. Stinkweed, blood gas, and a jellyfish. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Did our opponent just pass? Oh my god. And they can see. Wow, okay. So I, I need to talk about this. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times this happens. Or if we do anything before their first play, on their turn, they just think it's not their turn. But 100% we would have got that one. Like, we had such a good start. A dredge five by turn two, the life from the loan. Like, it would have worked out. But unfortunately, we have no idea what they are. Gold in the game two. We're going to swap out our two lands for the gemstones. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand. Nothing crazy. But a turn two cathartic. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll keep it. Upon starts with Astrolabe. So we can assume it's Urza. The deck, not the player. Obviously. Or maybe not so obviously. We'll go Gari Thug. And send it back to our opponent. Another Astrolabe. Come on. Where are those zero costing artifacts? I know this is a paradoxical outcome version. Oh, but they pass back. Interesting. And back on our turn. Let's hope they don't have counter. And play cathartic. Do we go double thug or amalgam and a thug? Yeah, I'll do double thug. They're pausing here. Please don't have surgical. 
It goes through. Hooray. So Golgari Thug. Golgari Thug. And Stinkweed. Three creeping chills. Hooray. If they have graveyard hate, like maybe surgical, now would be a really good time to use it. Uh-oh. Uh, no, I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. No. Oh, they be bluffing. Oh, they like to play games. But we can play games, too. Our graveyard is not the best. Blood gas. Life from the lung. Eh. All right. Back to our opponent. There's the zero costing artifacts. Or of invention. Great. Here comes the graft digger's cage. Wow. Pithing needle. Are you serious? Are you? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? They just conceded. What? I don't even know. I don't even know what to say anymore. How many concedes are we up to? Like, it's it's unbelievable. You know what it has to be. When Faithless Looting got banned, everyone just took graveyard hate out of their decks for artifact hate because of decks like this. And it seems like everyone we're playing is just like, oh, crap. Where is my graveyard hate? I don't have it. So many concedes, but it's on to the next match. Opening hand, not really the best. One dredge card, no way to discard it. But turn one Tome Scour, so we'll keep. Oh, an Inquisition. And they took the Tome Scour. Meh, that bad. All right, back to our opponent. Want to play as Rain and Six? Sure. And now we'll Dream Twist. Wow, that was really bad. Although we do have a Salage here. Dredge, Creeping Chill, sure. And then we'll Dream Twist at some point. Want to play as Tarmogoyf. And at their end set, we'll Dream Twist. Do Blood Gas, sure. And hooray, Merchant of the Veil. We'll fire it now on Stinkweed. Eh, it could have been better. And then we'll play Salvage. Getting back the two Blood Gas. And it's back to our opponent. Oh, it draws a card. And I guess to land back in their hands, pretty good value. But then they pass back. We'll dredge the thug. Meh, kind of bad. And then we'll do this. And vloggle all the goy for a five, just in case they have an instant. The goyf goes to Jesus. Now we'll hit the Ren and six for four. And it's back to them. Well, they draw. Getting the land back to their hand. And this time we'll dredge the life from the loam. Hooray, the jellyfish. Oh, and I guess that was enough because our opponent conceded. Okay. Seven cards in hand. Okay. I guess we're just too powerful for them. Golden game tour and dump all this stuff for all this stuff, especially the lightning axe, because we have to watch out for scavenging news, and with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand could be better. We have gemstone, but without a turn one creature from them, is not that great, but we'll try it. When it passes back, is what me. And we'll start with the life from the loam. Getting back our fetch, and now it's back to our opponent. My opponent plays Tarmogoy, and now we'll dredge the life from the loam. Ogari thug, me. I suppose we'll do this. Draw with a fiery islet to dredge the thug, amalgam and stinkweed. We could ask the goy, but we'll hold back for now. When it swings in, I'm just afraid of the scavenging news. I think we just take three here and see if they play a news. No, Ren and Six, huh? Interesting. But all right, well, Lightning Axe and Tomagoy discarding the Amalgam, and then we'll dredge the Stinkweed. Meh, nothing. Dream Twist, we'll try it. Just come on, Blood Gas or Jellyfish, either one. A uh, Stinkweed, him? no. Oh, whatever, back to our opponent. Oh, yes, upon Inquisitions us, but guess what? All of our cars want to be in Graveyard. So hooray, they return their land. And what a loser they pass back. We'll dredge the stinkweed. How is this even possible? Where where are our dudes? All right, you know what? Screw it. We'll use life from the loam. Getting back the islets. And then fetch. And then play the islet. And then sack the islets to draw a card. And we'll dredge with the thug. Wow. I'm not saying anything. We're just going to pass the turn back. Because life's depressing enough as it is. They return to land and pass. But what? But they're going to lose like this. I mean, neither of us are doing great. It's like the Special Olympics. Speaking of which, oh my god. There's no no blood gas and no jellyfish either. There's only 22 cards left in deck. Why? Magic confuses me sometimes. Okay. Green twist on ourselves. And hooray, blood gas. Play the islet. And in response to the trigger, we'll draw again. Milling with the stinkweed. And there's a jellyfish. Hooray. Hooray for happiness. Oh, they still have six cards in hand. And yep, there's one bolt. And there's a second bolt. They kill the blood gas and the amalgam. A lot of creature removal. Oh. Exile all cards from a graveyard. Oh, okay. We deserve that, but it's not over just yet. And nice, a Tome Scour. We hit a Creeping Chill, two Blood Gas, and unfortunately we can't play the Amalgam this turn, but instead we'll cast a Stinkweed in. But for now, swing for five at our opponent. Fatal Push. So they go to four, we'll play the Stinkweed, and it's back to them. What shall they do? Oh, this tap. That was not a very good draw for them. They kill a Jellyfish, but guess what? Life from the Loman Graveyard. And oh, there is a Concede. Very nice. Part of me almost conceded when we saw the charm. And I'm so glad I didn't, because look at this. Sweet victory. But now it's on to the next match. Well, it seems we find ourselves competing for the 5-0 after many hard matches. See, I, I funny. And a very, very good hand to start. Wow. Okay. Turn one Tome Scour and turn two Cathartic. Sounds good. So start with the Tome Scour. Oh my gosh. Stinkweed, Amalgam, and Jellyfish. That's a very, very good start. Oh, and it can vloggle. I didn't even see that. Nice. Upon it goes with this. And that are up to 
you, stinkweed. Creeping chill, jellyfish, and another amalgam. Wow. And on top of all that, cathartic. Stinkweed and life in the loam. Dredging the stinkweed. Dredging Golgari. And another stinkweed. What fun. Swing for four. And along with the theme of today, our opponent concedes. Hooray! This <laughs> is so Stupid. Go on a game to run a swap out our lands. And since they probably don't have creatures, we'll get rid of one dark blast for one ancient grudge. And with that, let's go to game two. Oh, winning hand. Not crazy good. But merchant stinkweed. Yeah, we'll keep it. They mull the six. Suspicious. We shall haggle. Dredging the stinkweed. Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Creeping chill, two blood gas, and pass back. What is these? Man, oh, it was a storm. But storm's not a real deck. Although that is what people say about dredge these days, I bet. Fair enough. Maybe it is a real deck. And our upkeep will haggle. Dredging the stinkweed. Creeping chill nice but no dredge cards fine oh wait we do have dredge yay and we hit another creeping chill and now here's where things get grande we have the blood gas coming back this turn and one amalgam but when blood gas trigger will do this get a land merchant of the veil on the stinkweed and we get back a jellyfish sure all right not bad back to our opponent and opponent passes back what this confusion dredge life from the loam Meh. swing and because this could be storm yeah man Marcos, it has to be storm not twiddle they go to three we'll just pass back uh oh, they ritual. Oh god, I hate gifts ungiven because no matter what I pick, people in the comment section always say I pick wrong. But I do remember one big boy in the comment section telling me never give a storm player two rituals. And given they have no way to reduce their mana cost at this point, no electromancers or anything, no brawl. So we'll follow their advice. Oh shoot, there's brawl. Oh god, and they have ritual shoot. Oh no. Don't lose like this, please. Alright, I think they have us. If only we brought in Leyline of the Void. So game three it is. Go on into the final game game of our tournament. We're gonna swap out the lands because we're on the play and bring in Leyland of the Void because we know there's Storm now. And with that, let's go to game three. I am very scared. Opening hand, no way to get dredge cards in graveyard will mull. Shoot, a cathartic with no dredge cards. Oh man, these hard and they kept a seven card hand. I think we got a mull. All right, we have a ley line, so we'll keep it. But I don't think things will be pretty. Upon a slide of hand and they pass back. Blood gas, meh, back to them. Slide a hand again for them and they pass back fiery islet this is sad but i think we got an islet now to try and hit something not really what i had in mind but okay my opponent passes back to us and a merchant nice we shall attempt the merchant on the stinkweed amalgam and blood gas hmm yeah okay getting back those two and it's back to our opponent what is these manamorphose okay strange opponent passes back what is happening dredge the life from the loam hmm stinkweed in graveyard and swing for five okay i'm starting to get anxiety here like I, i'm starting to not not think straight. Not much in greater dredge. Should life from the oh wait, life from the loam. Wait, we didn't play land this turn. Did we play land this turn? No, we did not. We could get back the islet. There's the stinkweed. Yeah, I think that's the right play. I mean, we could go with the merchant, but uh, but he's kind of served his purpose. We'll go with the life. Shoot, hit the wrong button. Oh, yeah, okay, great. Hmm, they reman. Sure. In that case, it's back to our opponent. Opponent plays electromancer and passes back. All right, dredge stinkweed and a big old whiff there. Swing for a five. We take it down to ten. We try life from the loam again. I think we have to islet cave. Yeah, that works. And then cycle the cave, dredging the thug, and flog a lot of nice. If we can survive until next turn, I think we're okay. Play the islet and back to our opponent. I am very scared. Six cards in hand. They have something. I wouldn't be surprised if they can go off this turn. Gifts and given. We can only make it to next turn. We have come flog a lot. Hmm. Manamorphose, repeal, grape shot. And what we put in graveyard will be exiles. So definitely repeal and grape shot in graveyard. They manamorphose. They visions. They visions again. They have that one red there. They could probably play a lot this turn and they're probably deciding if they can wait one more. Oh, he's taking forever. Come on. Oh. If we lose, I just, just want to know. You know, I don't I don't want to drag this out because like, I, I don't know. How do, how do we feel about this? Like we, we, we're 4-0 we're, we're, we're right now. Do we really deserve to be 4-0? Probably not. We got a lot of concedes, you know? But at the same time, like in the finals, we get we get Storm. Storm is not the hardest matchup for us. They have no graveyard hate, it seems. We have the ley line out. Like for, for them to get it, they would, they have to have a mana morpho. Okay, they play Brawl. Wait, but that's, they're out of mana. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, is that the match? Wait, hang on. Thinking, thinking time. They could have four of negation. We gotta be careful with Conflagala. We can get on, uh, on the draw, we'll have seven cards in hand. Islet, eight. We'll still need to deal extra damage. I mean, we could get the blood gas out this turn, right? No, we, no, we don't have double black crap. Wait, but then we, we can dredge life from the loam. That would that would be extra safe. Yeah, if we dredge life from the loam, we can play life from the loam, get back more lands, Conflagala, and then we're only sacrificing two 
dredge as opposed to five. Yeah, you lie from the loam. Creeping chill, that makes things a lot easier. Wait, there it is, there it is. Oh my gosh, the five. Oh, come on. I mean, we didn't really deserve it because we got a lot of concedes. And we saw, I think, what, zero graveyard hate? Was that right? Zero graveyard hate? We lost two games, I think. It, it was It was a very strange league. Probably the strangest league we've ever had. So many concedes. We didn't see a single ley line. It, it was just, it, it's just so strange. It's like the metagame shifted so much since Faithless Luden got banned. Like, everyone just forgot about graveyard decks. But yeah, I guess what else is there to say? Except maybe hooray for graveyard decks. Congratulations, Dredge, for having a shot now. People who own Dredge, you don't have to sell, it seems. Seems pretty good still. And yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. And thank you to everyone who was able to buy a deck box. But that is all for now. And as always, I hope you have a great day.